Being a Swifty is experiencing the magic of girlhood. It's shiny pink cowboy boots and dancing around your bedroom to Tim McGraw. It's late nights making friendship bracelets and sticking posters on your wall. It's wearing the pink butterfly clips and princess dresses you dreamed of as a little girl. It's trading friendship bracelets with strangers and besties alike. It's butterflies in your tummy. It's 80,000 twinkling lights. It's screaming at the top of your lungs and dancing until your feet hurt. This is my errors to a vlog. Oh my god, you guys, I can't even believe that I'm making this intro right now. But welcome to my errors to a vlog. I have been waiting for this day for so long. I actually am in shock that it's here. Like it doesn't feel real. It's currently like eight o'clock in the morning. My hands are so orange because I was trying to prepare what will now be last week's YouTube video early. And I normally do it on Mondays, but I was trying to like pump it out last night, Sunday night, so that it could go up while I was at the Eras tour. And I was like concentrating so hard. I completely forgot to wash off my hand tan early. So now I just have like really orange hands, but fine, whatever it is, what it is. That's why before you guys are like, oh my God, her hands are orange. <laughs> I know and I wish that they weren't but what can you do it's too late now I'm just trying to not focus on it anyway errors tour tonight I'm shaking I'm literally shaking I'm so excited I have been waiting for this now for like what feels like a year I'm going with my best friend my best childhood friend she lives in Sydney so I'm gonna catch the train down and stay at her place tonight so we can both go to the errors tour we have been Swifties since we were children like I remember we would spend nights staying up all night at sleepovers when we were like 10 and under <laughs> making up dance routines to love story and blank space learning all of the words so that we could like sing songs to our parents the next morning and impress them all our families used to vacation together so we would be like sharing a room and stuff and we would literally stay up all night singing and dancing to taylor swift it's a full circle moment it's very exciting I've got my butterflies in my hair already. I was kind of just like practicing how I want them to go. But I have so much to do. I'm going to take you guys along with me while I get ready. My hair and makeup. I'm going to do some fun nails, glitter, outfit, the whole, the whole lot. The first thing that I'm going to do is go and pack my bag to stay at Jess's house for the night. So I need like a change of clothes for the next morning, my skincare, my makeup. The essentials are in the bag. Somehow, <laughs> this... He's gonna have to go in there. And I don't know how we're gonna make this work, but we're gonna try our best. I'm putting a bunch of this body glitter on right now. So it has SPF in it, so it's gonna protect me from the sun. I'm gonna blend a little bit of the Loving Tan Ultra Dark onto my chest to make me even more bronzy. I look so bronzed. I love. Okay, I'm at my makeup desk where the magic happens. These are the two nail choices that I'm deciding between. This one has pretty pink butterflies and this one is just like plain sparkly tips. I feel like this one's more wearable for every day, so I'm gonna save this one. And I feel like I can only wear this to the Taylor Swift concert. And these are the fancy Opie ones. This is like $30 a packet. <laughs> so I kind of just wanna use the good ones. We're filing down. I got so much old glue on here, so. And then once I do this, I'm going to take some like transition videos for TikTok before I do my makeup and my hair. Okay, this is the before. That's one hand done. Look how cute they are. Just going to do the other hand and then I'm done. That's both hands done. Okay, this is the hair update. I just did the curls. This front piece is not sitting how I want it to, but it's going to drop down, I think. I don't really know what to do about it. If I just keep curling it, it's just getting worse, so... I'm just gonna leave it and anyway I'm gonna like pin these bits back with the butterfly clip so I don't think it matters that much I filmed some transition videos the start of them and now I'm gonna do my makeup I have to wear this makeup now for how long well until late tonight like we won't get back until like 11 o'clock or something so it's gonna be on my face for ages I'm going to make sure that I use some heavy-duty products so it does not move around it needs to stay in place so fingers crossed 
This is where the magic's happening. Also, I'm having a second coffee because I really need it. The hair and makeup is done. Now to put on my outfit and see it all come together. I'm only putting this on to like show you guys properly and take some TikToks and then I'm gonna take it off because I do not want to sit for an hour on the train wearing this. See if I can fix this one piece of hair because it's actually driving me insane. Alright, that's the fit. I'll show you in the mirror. This is what it looks like. I got my cowboy boots from Bellini and then this insane dress from ASOS. It's ASOS Lux. And then little butterflies in my hair. It's so extra, but it's so me. get everything together, finish my hair and my makeup, and we've left. I'm literally so excited, I didn't even know what to say. I'm so excited, I can't believe it's actually happening. That's all my pink stuff in the back. I ended up taking another separate bag to put just my dress in because I don't want to shove it in the case and then it gets all crinkled. I just put on some shorts and a little tank top to wear on the train. So there was no way that I was wearing that dress on the train. I mean, I'm confident, but I'm not that confident. <laughs> Look how cute the nails look. I spent the entire car ride listening to the Errors Tour set list back and forwards. I think I listened to it the whole way through about a hundred times before this day. I made it onto the train and to be honest, it was quite nice to have an hour to just compose and collect myself before I arrived in Sydney. How exciting. I made it to Jess's apartment. Say hi Jess. <laughs> hi. She's not ready yet. This is her <laughs> potential outfit, but we're not sure yet. We're on our way to get some snacks. This is the snack hall. We got chips, we got snakes, lollies, some cheese and crackers. We should be, we should be playing some Taylor Swift right now. Huh? I know, but my TV's broken. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that was so loud. <laughs> it was literally like a year ago today we were at Harry. Like not today, today. But, but like, close to. Yeah. I know. That doesn't feel like that when we go either. I know. That's kind of crazy. I was so sick at the Harry Styles concert, so. And hopefully we can actually see and hear something. I know. I actually think our seats are going to be good. So do I. Cheers. Mary Taylor Mendes. <laughs> 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 we didn't think that they were going to come in time. We're going to have to make them so quickly now. Shit, what time is it? 3.45. We're fine. supposed to leave in like an hour. That's fine, we can okay. do it. We really have to rush job this. Literally every bracelet kit in all of Sydney was sold out. <laughs> Yesterday we were both like trekking around trying to find somewhere to buy the kits to make them. We couldn't find them anywhere. So Jess ordered them from Amazon last night. We didn't think it was going to come in time, but it came. Color theme. Thank you, Amazon. There she is. Oh, it's really cute, Jess. Almost so many letters. So oh we'll... my God. This is what we need. We can even say do goodbye to these ones. <laughs> I'm just gonna add more I, to Yeah, it, I yeah. just think do more. May have been really difficult and took forever to make one bracelet and yes, we were really rushed, but this was such a special moment. Making friendship bracelets with my best friend and drinking champagne, like that's just girlhood. And I would totally do this again as like a night in idea, girls night in. Gorgeous, and then another glamorous one. I would do girls, but we're running out of time. This is stressful, it's so hard. Jess just said this is the hardest thing she's ever done and she has passed a law school, so. <laughs> champagne problems. Hey Alexa, play champagne problems. I hope we can get champagne at the concert. We need to get there early enough to get a few glasses and bubbles. We'll try. Not to sound cheesy, but I think I'm going to keep these friendship bracelets forever. Maybe give them to my daughter one day. I think it's just such a special memento to hang on to forever. And it will remind you of such a fun night. And we made friendship ones too. I couldn't be bothered to do Glamorous Girls, so we're just going with Gorgeous. And it's the Taylor Swift song as well, so it kind of works. Fingers crossed. Maybe that could be her surprise song, Gorgeous. I do love that one. Fit check. Okay, Jess, where's everything from? This is from Kukai, and this is from Kukai, and these are from Bellini. Bellini, Bellini Slay, mine are from Bellini as well. The ASOS dress, butterflies. Oh, should we put butterflies in your hair? Oh yeah, we should. They look so cute. 
we're catching the bus now. Our bus is about to leave in like less than 10 minutes. Jess is finishing up some lawyer work. <laughs> Lawyers doing lawyer things. There's like a, a hub where all the different trains connect like you have to change at this one station And these videos were circulating around social media of like massive crowds And you have to line up for ages to get on a train from that station So we don't think we can put ourselves through it. The bus is a massive risk because traffic could be horrendous But like we're taking a gamble here. What's gonna make us later the bus or the train fingers crossed not the bus we made it on the bus. It's packed. There's Swifty planes everywhere. <laughs> I'm literally sitting on the bus stairs because it's not packed. We're 10 minutes away. The bus pulls up in 10 minutes. Sabrina is literally going on right now, but it's fine. We are okay. We're here. Oh my gosh, the bus took so long. We were literally on there for like an hour, but it's fine. We yeah, made it. You know okay. what? I actually think it was a better option than getting the train. Oh, I win. <laughs> because, no, wait until you see these crowds. I'll show you in a it's second. insane. There is like literally more people than I've ever seen in my entire life. Yes. Waiting to get into the concert. But we made it, so it doesn't matter. It's good. We made it. We made it. We, we made it. I can't believe we're here. <laughs> Guys, look at this. Seriously, the international language of Swift. <laughs> We're not even in the concert yet. We're already giving you guys a performance. <laughs> Just you wait. Excitement was at an all-time high right about now. We had butterflies in our tummy. We were dancing in the streets. We had to walk for ages to get to the entrance to our seats and then we had to go up like 10 flights of stairs but it was totally fine. We got our wristbands, we got some glasses of champagne before we went into our seats and oh my gosh, when I first saw this crowd, I was literally in shock. I've never seen so many people. It's so exciting. Wake up. We're not seeing we made it. It's actually insane. I've never seen so many people in my entire life. I am so excited. Before Taylor came on, we had to take some Instagram pictures in front of this gorgeous Taylor Swift sign. You can follow me on Instagram at scarlet.fraser. And then they put this clock to count down Taylor. Here she comes. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I did cry. It was emotional, okay? <laughs> but I also danced a lot and sung every word, well, screamed every word, along with the 80,000 other Swifties who were there. The following clips are a few of my highlights of the night. Jess had to work the next day, so it was an early start for me as well. I had to get a caramel macchiato from Starbucks before getting back on the train. And I started re-watching the Miss Americana documentary. The weather seemed to catch up to my mood because I was experiencing some post-concert depression. I'm sure everyone was. And watching the Miss Americana documentary kind of took away from that feeling. But I was also exhausted. It was such a late night. 
and I didn't get much sleep from the excitement of it all. When I finally got home, I unpacked all of my stuff. It was kind of sad seeing my bracelets like this and my wristband and all of my stray butterfly clips, but I know they're such beautiful memories that I'll hang on to. And I finished watching the Miss Americana documentary. I fell asleep so early this night because I was just so exhausted and drained. I know a couple of you guys messaged me and said you felt the same way after the concert, just like so physically exhausted. I needed to catch up on some sleep and listen to a lot of Taylor's music, of course. Hello gorgeous glamorous girls. Oh my gosh, we have some stuff to discuss. I saw Taylor on Monday night, it's now Wednesday, so I have had some time to sit and think about what the heck just happened. It's a lot to process. That was literally the best night of my life. Literally the best night of my life. I spent all day yesterday just speechless. Like I didn't even know what to say or what to think. Like I came home and my boyfriend Yastin was like, how was it? Show me all the photos and the videos. And I was like, I genuinely don't even, <laughs> I don't even know how to describe what I just experienced. And I was also Googling this thing. It's so true called post concert amnesia. So like you forget <laughs> parts of the concert because your body is in such a like stressed out state from the excitement of what's happening that you actually, <laughs> you literally forget get little things and this happens to people on their wedding day <laughs> i know i sound so dramatic for saying this about a taylor swift concert but like the excitement the serotonin the like adrenaline was so high that i literally like briefly forgot certain parts of the night it i'm not kidding it actually felt like an outer body experience like there were times i was trying so hard to be present and like soak it in and that's what my mom was saying to me before i went as well because she knows how much i love taylor she was like make sure you really like try to be present and think about what's happening right now because you're going to hold on to these memories for the rest of your life like no pressure whatever <laughs> she was like just really try and soak it all in which i so i was really trying to do that and be really present and like just take in what was happening but it felt like i was in a movie like i was watching watching myself watch taylor like it's it i don't know why it felt like an outer body experience i can't even explain it but anyway now that i've had time to process it journal about it and <laughs> think about it deeply. Let's do a bit of a recap and I can share a few thoughts that I have about the concert, about Taylor. You guys DM'd me and like wrote comments on a few of my posts asking me different questions. So I kind of compiled a list of like Errors Tour and Taylor Swift related questions. And I thought we could chat about all of that stuff. Question one, the highlight of the Errors Tour for me. There's so many highlights, like choosing one thing is so hard, but I think being able to see Taylor in the flesh and realize that she's like a real person, that was so cool. And I also found the concert to be really inspirational. Like being in her superstar presence, like she is such a superstar and there's just this energy about her, energy about the crowd. Like I left with a new kind of motivation to work harder because I wanna be a star in my own life, like in a very different way to Taylor, obviously, but like, it just really invigorated me the whole experience and I left feeling super motivated and super excited for my future and with a bit of sparkle about me like I can make the whole room shimmer it's true she does like her shimmer is contagious and it rubbed off on me so yeah that's a highlight question two the most stressful part of the Eras tour so that pink dress that I was wearing I didn't think it was gonna come in time my tracking was saying that it was arriving on Monday sometime between morning and 9 p.m. It just so happened to show up at 8 a.m. in the morning. Thank God, otherwise I would have had to wear my backup outfit, which was nowhere near as cute as that. So that was super stressful, not knowing if it was gonna show up before I had to leave around midday. Also, getting to the concert. My friend Jess wanted to get the bus. <laughs> my lawyer friend convinced me. <laughs> so yeah, we were a little bit late and we missed all of Sabrina's set, which is like sad, but I'm actually, I'm not really a massive Sabrina fan. I only really know one or two of her songs. But before you all commented, yes, I know Sabrina is really good and I need to start listening to her music. I'm going to listen to her album and see what I think and I'll let you guys know. Um, favorite song performed live. Okay, this was a curveball for me, but I'm not like a huge fan of this song. It's not my favorite song ever. And that is Enchanted. Such a sweet song, but seeing it live, I, I was shocked. Taylor literally was like a princess, like a real life princess. She looked like a Disney princess up on the stage with that beautiful dress and then the purple lights everywhere. I honestly felt like I was in a fairy tale, like it was something from a fairy tale. And I think that that was probably one of the most magical points of the concert for me. I was in awe of her. I wasn't even singing. I was just like watching this goddess. <laughs> 
And then also I have to point out cardigan because screaming the bridge in cardigan at the top of my lungs with all of the other Swifties who feel so passionately about that song as I do, that was like just a once in a lifetime experience. That was just so cool. When Taylor was singing that one verse and everyone was screaming it with such passion, that was just like amazing. Like it's just one of those things like you have to be there. Um, question four, did I go to the bathroom? Yes, I did because I had a few glasses of champagne before I went while I was making my friendship bracelets, as you guys probably saw. And then I had a couple of glasses of champagne during the concert because I'm literally just a girl and I wanted to party with Taylor. So I, I had to go to the bathroom. I made it to like halfway, I think. And then I decided to go during We Are Never Getting Back Together. I wasn't dying to see that one live. I don't feel super passionately connected to that song, I guess. Did I trade bracelets? Okay, this is freaking sad because no, I didn't. And the reason being, I was late. I can't remember if I said that before. I was late and I didn't really have time to like wait around outside or like talk to anyone else in lines or anything like that. I was literally just like arrived at the stadium and went straight up to my seats. So there was no time for like socializing with other girls, which is sad too, because so many of you had messaged me being like, I really hope that I see you. And I wanted to see you guys and trade bracelets with you. But yeah, I literally, I was running so late. I just had to go straight to my seats. My favorite era. People are asking me this on TikTok this morning. The answer is Lover is my favorite era because of the aesthetic of it. I love the songs. I want to play Lover songs at my wedding eventually. So everything's pink, which is just so me, right? I love Midnight's. I think that this is a really glamorous, fun album. And this is like what I play when I'm getting ready for a night out. Like I just love the energy of that album. And I like the like sparkly aesthetic. Folklore because Every song on that album is literally poetry. So like for the music, which album do I think has the best music? Probably folklore. But it also depends what mood you're in. Like if you want to party and dance and hype yourself up, obviously folklore is not going to be the vibe. If I want to really connect with music and feel like I'm listening to poetry, which is kind of what got me into Taylor Swift in the first place. I'm a writer. I have a background in writing. I'm like such a reader. Words mean so much to me. And like for that reason, folklore as well. <laughs> And then I also have to mention debut because I have a soft spot for country girl aesthetic. You guys, if you are a subscriber, you probably know that. I love a bit of a country girl vibe. I really, 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 really hope that she makes country music again because I feel like modern country music in the like Zach Bryan, Megan Maroney kind of era, she would slay, 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 slay. So I'm really manifesting that for Taylor's future. How long have I been a Swifty? My whole life, I don't know. Um, since debut. Since debut, I remember listening to her debut album as a kid. I remember hearing Taylor Swift on the radio. I've been a fan through all the eras. Like I've always liked her. It wasn't until probably like pandemic that I became like a diehard Swifty, if that makes sense. Like a huge fan. I think that was when I really, really connected to her. I think as well because I had so much time to think and listen to music during the pandemic, but that's when I became like really, really invested. But I was always, I've always been a fan. Ever since Taylor Swift's been making music, I've been a fan. And my last question that I wrote down is, what are my thoughts on the Tortured Poets department? For one, I can't believe it's so soon. Knowing that the Tortured Poets department is releasing in like a couple of weeks now, it's so soon, I forget what the actual date is, but it's coming up so quickly. That gives me something to hold on to now. So I think it's going to be like folklore. I heard people saying that it's um, synth pop. I don't think it's going to be. Just purely by the name Tortured Poets Department and the aesthetic that she's of the album cover and the promos that she's released so far, I feel like it's give, it's gonna be like poetry, absolutely. So folklore vibes. But that's my little errors to a recap. I think it was good to just sit down and chat a little bit about the concert rather than just flicking through all this footage really quickly it was good to just debrief this is like my video diary with all of my thoughts and feelings about the concert so i'm glad i got to share that with you guys thank you for listening come and chat with me in the comments let's talk about it have you been to the errors tour are you going to the errors tour what were your thoughts what were your feelings i want to know if you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe to my channel i post it girl glamorous girly vlogs fashion beauty and lifestyle content every single monday so don't forget to subscribe and turn on my post notifications. Give this video a like if you're a Swifty and leave me a comment telling me if you've been to the Errors Tour or if you're going. I love you so much and I'll see you next Monday. Goodbye, gorgeous, glamorous girls.